The majority of the Elysian Line community plays Magic. This is clearly seen when comparing available rooms between Magic and Speed. It does make sense, Magic has a much more shallow learning curve when starting out. When players first play Speed, they often find themselves being outrun by some flat players and timing out. Then ask themselves, how the fuck do you play Speed? And then drop the game mode completely. Well, my lovely viewers, I will be answering that question today. I will be sharing how I went from a shit speed player to a pretty decent one. I am able to keep up with most good players I play with, but of course, not quite up there with the god tier players. I will be splitting this into five different parts. Controls, horse stats, armor and skills, bunny hopping, perfect boosts, and map routes. Before we begin, if you are a brand new player, I suggest you get a hang of the basics first before going into these skills. Things like sliding and dashing. And also, don't forget to subscribe, it's the best way to support the channel and I'd really appreciate it if you did. Having the right controls is important for speed. What I mean by controls is it's best to have two-handed controls that let you do bunny hopping as easily as possible. Of course, this will be different for everyone. These are my old controls. I used to play Alicia Online one-handed, which will probably confuse a lot of people. And these are my new controls. It's best if you fiddle around with your controls until you find something that works for you. Also, when you change controls, there's going to be an adjustment period where it feels like you can't play the game all over again. Just give yourself some time and you'll get used to them. Also in this category is camera position. Some of you may have seen some of the pro, I don't know, very good players use the high camera position and you should too. Having this will make going around corners easier and it's just so much better. Trust me, you'll understand once you get used to it. Horse stats can make a big impact on speed racing. If you've been racing speed with control horses and wondering why you just can't keep up, this is probably why. The best stats for speed is strength and speed. For anyone who doesn't know, speed increases the speed of boost and strength increases the duration of boost. The best stats for starting out is a 120 strength horse. This will allow you to get used to making big chains of boosts. The best stat horse for speed players overall is strength and speed split. A 70-70 split is what you're after and with armor this will make it an 80-80 horse. The horse stats go up in tens. So if you have a horse with 74 strength, the game will count it as the same as having 70 strength, if that makes any sense. This leads into the next topic. Armor for speed is much different from magic. In magic, you want to go for sets as set bonuses are very beneficial. And speed, these do not exist. <laughs> you want to get armor that give you plus 10 in every stat. It will be a hodgepodge of multiple sets. Potentials are very, very useful in speed. You don't necessarily need one, but oh boy are they a game changer. <laughs> The two main ones people go for is Resourceful and Strongheart. Resourceful makes it so horseshoes increase more gauge and Strongheart slowly increases your gauge when you aren't boosting. It's really a preference on which one is better, but I suggest Strongheart as it makes it so you don't have to aim for horseshoes all the time. I'll probably get some angry comments for that one. <laughs> but yeah, Strongheart feels OP to me, so go for that. I feel like a lot of players don't realize that skills exist, and yet they can be so OP in speed. There are many good speed skills to choose from, and a lot of the good ones are unlocked at low level. These are the ones I use. Fear Start, that increases base speed at the beginning of races. Risky Riding, that fills the gauge faster while doing a double or triple slide and power start that gives you two boosts if you do a perfect start. When I found out about this, I lost it. My advice on skills is that you have one skill that boosts you at the beginning of the race so you get an early lead and something else that improves you either getting more gauge or speed during the race. Mess around with these and use the ones that feel the best to you. Now, this is where speed tends to lose people. New speed players will join a race and then see these players jumping about the place. Not to worry, bunny hopping can be obtained with just a little practice. 
Bunny hopping is pretty much double sliding while jumping at the same time. I'm going to leave a link to a video by Total Cretin below as they describe how to bunny hop much better than I ever could. They also have a whole playlist on how to play speed, which I highly recommend you check out. It is very well done. I think a lot of players think bunny hopping equals going super fast, which really isn't the case. The reason you bunny hop is to fill the gauge faster, which leads to more boost and going at like sonic speeds. Like I said before, bunny hopping takes practice and, it, and just take it slow and before you know it, you'll be a bunny hopping master. Doing perfect boost is crucial to playing speed. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, a perfect, a, a perfect boost is when you've already boosted and you have another boost lined up. When you use your second boost around here, it's a perfect boost, which increases your speed. Connecting your boosts together like this can get you higher chains of boost, which means more sonic speed. I feel like this topic doesn't get talked about a lot. What I mean by this is where you want to run the track and where you want to start boosting. I've also heard this being called the riding line. Basically, you don't want to be running all zigzag on the track. You want to take the path that gets you around the track as fast as possible. Now you ask, how do I figure out what the best route is? What I do is I watch videos of other people who are much better than me and watch where they run and where they start boosting. Some good channels for this is this person and this person. I have no idea how to say their names, but um, yes, they're very good. <laughs> I really like the second person because their video, they have some really good videos on riding line and other speed tips, and they also have loads of videos on different maps. If you want to find a good route to a specific map, just search in YouTube Alicia Online with the map name after it, and a good few videos will show up. Keep in mind, a lot of these videos are older and use the old strong heart, which was basically, it made it so the gauge would fill up constantly instead of just when you aren't boosting. And these are all of my tips. I'm sure that if you do one or two of these, you will get better at speed. Speed is really fun, and I hope I can convince a few people to give speed a go Speed takes some practice and patience, and before you know it, you'll be a speed pro. If any of you have any tips that I forgot, please feel free to leave in the comments. I'm always open to learning more about speed racing. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys!